When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's up, everybody? FBI Aftermath here. Uh, so there's one question that I always get, and you know, this is gonna be a quick video, but it's to talk to you guys about the, the step up into getting a PR or increasing the weight. And a lot of times it's mental for us. We have the strength to do it, but we just don't. We don't get ourselves mentally prepared to do it. Now, going into um, PR, when I'm talking about PR, this is a personal record, you know, five pounds, 10 pounds, whatever it is, you have the strength to do it. You've been training for so long. Um, you've been hitting the same PR back and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And even especially if it's becoming easy, if the PR is becoming easy and you don't feel like you can hit more weight or every time you hit more weight, then it's a mental problem. Hey, Dad! <laughs> Not problem as in like you, you have mental issues. It's mental problem in the fact of you are so stuck on the, 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 the scarce, scarceness of more weight, especially if it's heavy for you. I am strong. If it's a PR, it is heavy for you. So you're, you're scared of that, that, that bigger step. And either, a, a lot of times, people get too hype. It, it might seem weird, but some of you think that hypeness will get you like, well, you know, ready, hit a PR. And a lot of, for me personally, I don't like it. I don't like people in my face saying, come on, let's go, blah, blah, blah. I don't like that shit. I want people to shut up when I lift. I need to get myself in, in a zone. I have to be in a, in a, in a zone to where the moment, this is what I do especially when I bench, you see me, oh, you always see me sit down, I'm on the edge of the bench, whatever, I'm sitting down, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm not, not thinking, but I'm just trying to have a, a clear head, and I'm, all I'm saying is easy, you know, talking to myself, I'm calmly talking to myself, once again, I don't like all the, the hypeness, the let's go slapping my back, I don't like being touched, so don't slap me, it throws me off, and even if I'm not the one lifting, it just throws me off, but I sit there, and the moment I lose thought, as soon as I feel like I lose thought, that's when I go. Because my mind is clear. I have nothing, nothing to worry about. And all I have in front of me is a massive amount of weight that I'm going to lift, point blank. So if you're all the time trying a PR and you're like, you need a hype man or something, next time, be chill with it. Go into a cave, have your mind clear, go into a zone out mode where it's just you and the weights, nothing else. No hype man, no whatever, you and the weights, maybe some headphones and music, and that's it. That one thing, tapping into that, I don't, I don't even know what to call it. You just need to tap into your Mount Olympus. Tap into your Mount Olympus. You are the God right now, all right? You are one of the gods. This is your mount. You must claim it and own it. That alone, I promise you, you could probably lift five to 10 pounds more with that, with that tip right there. I kid you not. I did a seminar in New York and I was talking about that, becoming coming into a, a, a mind zone where it's just clear and it's just you versus the weights. No one else is around. Even though there's a crowd around, everybody's around. It's just you and the weights. And, you know, he had been stuck at a weight for so long. And as soon as I said that, he tried it up 10 pounds, just like that. You know, of course, you know, you, some people around you motivated. But even though he said, look, look, I just cleared my mind. Nobody was there. You know, I you know, felt like a, a presence, of course, but I really just had to clear it all out and he's like exactly what I was saying before usually he has somebody hype you know he's just there and it's draining honestly for some people like for me it's draining like the more somebody yelling at me the more I'm just like getting tired you know I feel like they're taking my energy when stuff like that happens I need calmness calm collective strong brute force building within and 
that has really helped me learn how to lift heavy, get prepared to lift heavy. Um, even though I do not compete, I still, um, you know, as people say, put up com competition numbers, which I feel like honestly, my comp my numbers are, when it comes to competing, are nowhere close to where they need to be. Especially when I see somebody like Russell or he that weighs a lot less than me and he lifts just as much as I do. God only knows how much people my weight uh, 220 230 pounds lift and it's you know that's it's just i just once again i just don't see the benefit for me in competing um it's just i don't like dedication like that uh, for a little give back i'm sorry it's just not that i'm looking for something it's just that i have a lot that i already want to do and pretty much i don't want and on top of that dedicating to competing i don't want to get into a certain plan strength and this type of eating and going into the gym and and I, I can't really do what I want to do. I have to follow something. I just, it, it, it bothers me, especially if it's for a long period of time. That's why I stopped competing because competing is just not for me. I can't stick to a certain workout routine like that for so long and a meal plan like that for so long. So uh, I just kind of like to do whatever the hell I want to um, and program myself. Whatever I do with the program, boom, 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 I see my stats increase and that's what it becomes. But uh, give it a try. Definitely tell me what you have accomplished with that. Tag me on Instagram. Uh, use the FB Aftermath or A-Clan tag, hashtags. You know, I go through everybody's stuff. I watch, you know, I like people's photos. I comment. I watch who uses my hashtags, and I like to interact with everybody that shows support. And uh, give it a try. I would love, definitely love to see it, whether you fail or or make it. If you fail, maybe I can critique and look at you and see, you know, no, nah, you, you aren't clear-headed. You aren't in the zone. You know what I'm saying? There's too much going on. You second guess yourself. And that's a that's a big another problem, second guessing yourself. That's why I need to find a spot in my head where it's just clear. I, I don't have the ability to think for those few seconds as I'm about to lift that weight. Because once I start thinking for too much, I start second guessing, like, wow, well, well, can I really hit this weight? You know, this is a lot of weight. You know, no, I need to go in, clear mind, tap into it as fast as I can, and get it done. Simple as that. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, watch my last videos because they're doing kind of eh. So make sure you check that out. Hit that notification button. Uh, see you guys next time. Got an epic video coming up for you guys for some deadlifts. And uh, that's all. Peace. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you got to do what you got to do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.